Now, what do you uh, think, in effect, I'm asking you for a verdict on these amazing stories we're going to hear tonight, but you get to see them, of course, in another way at the bank. We do. How do you um, weight and, and value the contribution migrants have made to the Australian economy? Well, I think it's both migrant but, and also small and medium-sized businesses here in Australia. When you look at the engine of the Australian economy, that's small business and medium-sized business. Mm -hmm. They are the growth en engine. They provide most of the new jobs that come through. And they do it in, in a framework where you don't have the same strength and, and fabric of a large corporation. I, th I think it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And these awards, and we're very proud that this is our twelfth year yes. of sponsoring the awards, that we are recognising the ingenuity, the professionalism and the skills inherent in the Australian community, where people go out there and actually create jobs, create the, uh, the spirit of the Australian economy. And I think with, uh, with the Ethnic uh, Business Award, they put a new dimension, another dimension on it. Uh, they actually also recognise the cultural diversity yes. in Australia and a fantastic contribution that migrants have made to this country for so many decades. Now, I notice with a name like Sikuto, now I want to call you Chikuto, but I was told that I shouldn't. Um, you don't exactly have an Anglo-Saxon name, do you? No. So are you come from a migrant background? I do. But, uh, I was born in Italy. I'm very proud of that and also very proud to be an Australian. Um, but uh, I came out in 1951 as a as a very young child, and uh, so I can actually have the empathy to the migrant community here in Australia. Uh, what my parents went through, what my sister Was and it I tough went through. For them? Yeah, it wasn't uh, all that easy uh, back in the 50s uh, for migrant families, and uh, I learned very early on that Chikuto wasn't easy to say for well, Australians, so I uh, Australianised it to Chikuto, yes. and I found that uh, much easier. Um, Look, given our circumstances in Australia at the moment, given our time in history, how do you think a big bank like the NAB can usefully interact with the community? You know, how can it realistically unfold? Because it's not necessarily an easy relationship, is it? No, it's not. Um, historically, people think that the, the normal relationship is between government and community. I firmly believe that the relationship is between government, the community and also large institutions. And if they all work together to address the social issues that come through the changes coming through our society, then we'll have a much better society. And you think that is business's role, do you? Absolutely. And, uh, and we have to work in partnership but with other large institutions in Australia and with the community to ensure that we educate, communicate appropriately down in the community to ensure that people are well prepared and understand the changes that are coming through. Uh, we've, um, at the National, we've had a community link program now for three and a half years where we actively engage with community service organisations across Australia to learn their issues, but also to provide support to their endeavours for them to meet their, their goals. So you meet them and they meet you. And we learn more, more about the issues out there so we can actually change what we do to better accord uh, with society's needs. Well, good luck to you. I thank hope you. it occurs more. It happens to be something very close to my heart. Thank you and indeed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please thank uh, Frank Sakuta, the Managing Director. Thank you. See you.